I know. Ugh. Oh God, I'm kind of annoyed that I'm like wasting my balsamic vinegar on this. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle and we're back with yet another old trend that I'm gonna try. It's one that I saw and it wasn't because I didn't have time, it's because I didn't really care. I didn't really care and it didn't feel like totally up my alley, but I'm gonna do it because now I've just like been thinking about it and I'm like, okay, but does it work? And it's the viral recipe for like a healthy Coke, healthy Coca-Cola. You're supposed to like mix balsamic vinegar with any flavor of seltzer water, allegedly, which I don't even understand how the mechanics of that makes sense. So I brought a couple different test subjects. I am i don't even drink a lot of soda, I'm not gonna lie to you. And if I do drink a soda, it's gonna be a Sprite. My evolution of soda that nobody asked for was I started with orange soda, then I moved on to Mountain Dew, had a big Mountain Dew phase, and then it was Sprite and then I just kind of stopped drinking soda and started drinking alcohol. Not during the day. I'm not, I'm not an, alcoholic. an alcoholic. Regardless, soda isn't something I miss per se, but you know what? I just want to know if this magic trick is legit because I may not be big on soda, but your girl loves magic. And that's the only way I could describe this recipe. It seems like a magic trick and I don't think it's gonna work. I tried to find the guava flavored LaCroix, LaCroix that she had, but I couldn't. They didn't have it, I guess it was a summer flavor. So I got passion fruit. And then I have three different flavors of Spindrift because I like Spindrift. That's, if I'm gonna drink a seltzer water, that's what I had. I mean, that's what I had in my apartment. And I know Spindrift is a little different than some seltzer waters because it has a little more juice, like the actual juice to it, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I got lemon, raspberry lime, and pineapple. And then just to test it out, cause why not? I got a Topo Chico ranch water, hard seltzer. I do not, not have a problem with alcohol. with alcohol. But I wonder if maybe, you know, maybe it could be like an alcoholic Coke. I guess we should just go ahead and get into this ridiculous magic trick. All right, let's see. Here's my balsamic vinegar. Can't go wrong, love balsamic vinegar. I love acidity, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to use balsamic vinegar for is salads, like a salad dressing. I'll do like olive oil, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, red pepper flakes. Really good. I'm gonna start with the Spindrifts and then I'll finish with the LaCroix. At least in the video, there's no actual measurements. So I'm just gonna play a guessing game. So we'll start with the Spindrifts that I have lying around and then we'll do hers. So I'm gonna err on the side of less and then I can always add more if I want to. Let's start with uh, lemon. Seems like the easiest, the mildest flavor. Okay, it's a little bit lighter in color. I wonder if I need to add a little more vinegar. I'll add it just a teeny little bit. I only added like, I'd say like a half a teaspoon. So maybe I'll add a little bit more. Just a little bit. Oh, that was a lot, a, lot, a bit. bit. I'll add some more seltzer. Oh man, I could smell the balsamic. But like hers looked like Coke. Like the color was the same. Here we go. Uh, you know when you're just like, why am I doing this? <laughs> this is one of those, why am I doing this moments. Hmm, smells? <sighs> smells confusing, actually. Honestly, it, the balsamic vinegar is just so acidic. And like, I actually think Spindrift is a better option probably than like LaCroix because Spindrift has a little more fruit juice in it. So it's slightly sweeter. The balsamic vinegar is not sweet. Well, I can tell you what it doesn't taste like. Coca-Cola or anything I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. Like I could see this being kind of like a good cocktail. I'm not, I'm not an, alcoholic. an alcoholic. It almost gets like a meringue flavor to it with the lemon and the vinegar. Interesting. Okay, well that tastes nothing like Coca-Cola. So that was the lemon one. Lemon, you're out. It's not bad, but it's absolutely not Coke. All right, let's do the next one. All right, I'm gonna try the raspberry lime next because the seltzer has a little bit of a reddish tint to it. It kind of looks like a cherry Coke. I feel like this one could possibly be kind of tasty, but I don't think it's gonna taste like Coke. This kind of looks like an old fashioned. I do not have a problem with alcohol. It just tastes like raspberry. Let me add a little more vinegar. I like it. It's kind of remind me of like the raspberry Tootsie Roll Pops. It's not bad. The balsamic vinegar kind of complements the raspberry. It's like a raspberry vinaigrette, <laughs> which doesn't sound like it would be a good drink, but it is tasty. Zero out of 10, once again, for Coca-Cola. Tastes nothing like Coke. Tastes nothing like Coke. We're 0 for 
How many am I doing? Five? We're 0 for 5. I'm just what I'm thinking right now is like, why, why Coke? Coke? What, is what is it just because it, it looked like Coca-Cola? Like Coca is that like, is that the, like only the only reason, reason she said Coke, Coke in the TikTok? TikTok? Maybe one of these other two will taste something like Coke. We'll see. All right, this one I'm a little nervous about because this next flavor is pineapple spindrift. And I just don't think this is going to be good. I don't think there's any real hope in the world for this one. I just know this one's not going to be great. Oh, I can feel it. This one's like sudsier than the other ones. Cheers. Uh-oh. No. No. I don't like that. Ugh. Don't do it. <laughs> don't try that. Don't bother with that. There's not much else to say other than it tastes like... It has like a garbage aftertaste. Just the pineapple and the balsamic is not... It's not jiving. The next one we have is the passion fruit. The LaCroix passion fruit. I couldn't find the guava, like I said, so this is the closest one I could find. We'll see. Maybe this will be the magical one that works. I doubt it. I'm kind of annoyed that I'm like wasting my balsamic vinegar on this. Okay, that one looks pretty Coke-like. Cheers. Mm, mm -mm. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, ugh. ew. The worst one yet. Worst one yet. Worst saved worst for last. Oh my God, that actually makes me want to gag. That is not, that is so bad. That is so bad. That just tastes like vomit. That's like balsamic infused vomit seltzer. <laughs> Negative 10 out of 10. I don't understand. I don't understand this. I don't understand. You know what? I was gonna freaking try a ranch water. I don't wanna waste my hard earned freaking alcohol. I, I don't wanna waste it. It's not gonna be good. I already know it's not gonna be good. So why would I bother? I'm calling it here. Let me just say, I think this is a good lesson to learn, like, you can't believe everything you see on TikTok. These fads, these trends, like, I don't know what this person was thinking. I'm sorry, like. You're gonna, you're gonna say, say, why would you say, say it tastes, tastes like Coke if it doesn't taste, taste like Coke? Coke. And why would you say you can use any flavor of seltzer if you can't? Now I've got all these open seltzers, I'm just gonna pour them all together into one big seltzer, I guess, because I don't wanna waste them. Pour one out for my freaking wasted balsamic vinaigrette, you know? Rest in peace. Every single one I tried, I could have used that for a salad to make myself healthier. And instead, it just made me angry. What were the comments on this freaking video like? I need to know. I need to know. I need to get to the bottom of this. I'm not trying to tear anyone down. I'm really not. I'm genuinely not. I have recipes out there I've put out there in the world that I'm not like proud of. I'm just genuinely curious what the thought was behind this. Because you can't tell me it was tasted and then, then she was like, yep, tastes like Coke. Because it doesn't. Please don't go attack this woman. I don't think she's a bad person. I'm just so curious as to what the marketing plan was here. Just, it just doesn't taste anything like Coke. Not, Not salad, salad dressing, dressing soda. soda. Girl just drink Olipop vintage cola. cola. What the hell is this? Zero, Zero chance, chance that tastes like Coke. Coke. Homegirl got at least 50 people, people to drink balsamic, balsamic vinegar, vinegar with, with ice. ice. Have you ever had Coke? Coke. This needs, needs to affect your credit, credit score somehow. somehow. Maybe I should have read the comments before I even bothered to try this, but I saw Emmy Made try it and I think Emmy Made is like, the coolest. She gave it a whirl. I didn't look at her re review of it because I didn't want to know. I didn't want it to be spoiled in advance. Here's a positive. I learned some new possible uh, cocktail uh, ideas. But it, this, this is just not Coca-Cola. Coca it's just it's not, not Coca-Cola. Coca so don't bother, okay? Don't bother. In the meantime, like I said, I'm gonna try to be posting every week. Thank you guys for your ongoing support. If you want to hang out with me between streams, join my Discord. Link is in the description. I stream on Twitch two to three times a week. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever you want. I'm happy to have you here and I'll see you next Tuesday in the least problematic way possible. Love you guys. Ciao for now.